Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the Louis Vuitton No Way and Neo No Way. Now I was asked this question from a young lady on my last Louis Vuitton video that I published on my classic collection. And she had asked a question about which one would I prefer in terms of the Neo No Way and the No Way bag. And so I'm going to do that in this video and just give you my thoughts on both the bags and why I did not include my Neo No Ways in my classic collection video. Alright you guys, so I'll start off with the bag that started my No Way collection. And it is none other than the lovely Neo No Way in the Noir color. And this one, of course, is in the monogram print. I did get this bag as a push gift or Mother's Day gift from my husband when I had our daughter back in 2018. So he gifted me this as well as a wallet to go with it. So I love this bag. It is a made in France. I did order this off the website. I did go see this bag in store before I bought it. Has that black interior. And I have, I think these are, these are like a hot pink interior for the uh, little inserts that I have. I got these inserts off of Amazon and I'll pull this out quickly. One zips and the other one doesn't. And that helps when I need to keep items secure in the bag. I do have a long strap that goes with it. It is a crossbody strap. However, I do not wear this as a crossbody. I tend to keep it like this because I find that on my 5'3 frame, the crossbody option is way too long. So unless you change out the strap, I don't prefer to change out my strap. I just use this one. But what I did get is a like a top handle braided strap that I got from Amazon. So I'm able to clip that on here and carry it like a handheld bag. So this is my preferred option to carry the bag. I do carry the crossbody strap inside of it in case I want to wear it as a shoulder bag. But ideally, I carry it as a top handle bucket bag. Okay, you guys? So when it comes to this bag, I love that it is black because it does hide the dirt. But I almost don't like the black. So I don't want to say I don't like it. But when I first got it, I loved the black. But I really wanted the pink color. And so my essay had talked me into getting the black color because she said that the pink would be hard to maintain. And this one would just be easier to keep up in terms of dirt and stains and different things like that. So I ended up getting the black one. After having this one for about a year and a half. I wore this thing straight for about six months because I loved it so much. After having it for about a year and a half, I decided to go ahead and buy the pink one. So I do have the pink one in my collection. I went to the store looking for something else and they had this in store. So I ended up buying this, like another purse and a wallet all, all in the same day. And so I got my pink interior absolutely love this bag the essay was right it does attract dirt first day i wore it i had foundation on the back of my hand forgot to wipe it off i was out and about and i ended up sticking my hand in the bag and got the foundation on the bag luckily i had some of my daughter's wipes in on hand in my car so i was able to take her wipe and just lightly wipe out the inside of the bag and you can't even tell i even got anything on the inside of the bag. So as long as you catch it, you can wipe it off fairly easy. Of course, not too much water because you don't want to stain the inside with the water, but the wipe works wonders and I was able to get it out from the bag. Like the other bag, it comes with the crossbody strap. I prefer to wear it as a shoulder bag. I do have inserts in this bag. You can see that. It is almost close, like the inside of the bag, but not very, not, not that close. And unlike the other one where it has like a zipper compartment and one that is open, on this one, both of the pockets on this insert, they are open. None of them zip, which is fine. I don't really zip up my bags anyway. I tend to leave them open. So if you're one like me who tends to leave your bag open all the time, then we are the same. 
So like my other No Way, I do have a strap that I can attach to here and carry this top handle, which is the way I prefer to carry this one as well. So I love carrying this top handle. And of course, I do carry the strap inside to throw it over my shoulder if I should need to, okay? What I love about this bag is obviously the pink. I have a lot of pink accessories, and I think that my new Coach Wallet will go really good with this. I did, again, have that same Coach Wallet in a Louis Vuitton print, but just too many LV accessories, so I got rid of a few of them. I still have a lot of LV accessories, but I definitely wanted to get pink ones to go with this bag. So I love this bag, love the pink. Again, this is a made in France, and I did buy this in the boutique. So I'll move along. My third No Way bag that I have is this No Way pouch. I got this also in the boutique. This was $8.90 at the time that I got it. And they discontinued this, I think about eight months later after I bought it. It comes with that burgundy interior. And on the inside of here, I've shared, this is where I store my little mini court charms from, from Coach. So I keep those inside the bag and I keep plastic around it to keep the red from transferring to those charms. But I usually will attach a strap to the side of the bag. I have since stopped doing that because I don't have the actual little holder or like a grommet or something to go around this and hold the strap. So until I invest in some of those, I don't carry this anymore as a crossbody. But I was wearing this bag as a crossbody option. I love the ability to carry it as a crossbody. It's the perfect size bag as you can see it compared to my hand. It's a really nice size and I love how it cinches in. It's like easy access to this bag where you can just cinch it to keep it closed. You just pull it open when you want to get to it. It's no zippers, no buttons, and you still have security where your items will not just come tumbling out of this bag. All right, so this one is my third one. All right, you guys, and then my final no way is in this dust bag right here. I do have the Nano No Way. It's in brand new condition. I do not use this bag. I only bought this for my daughter. I think I got this for her when she turned three years old. So in 2021, I think I got it. And so I got this for her as a birthday gift. And so when she gets older, she will inherit this bag as a part of her Louis Vuitton collection. And she doesn't have to take my bags. So the reason she has her own bags, preferably, I know these bags get really expensive when you try to buy them aftermarket and they're usually in the worst condition. So I just went on ahead and got them and these can be passed down to her once she gets of age. So the Nano No Way. All right, you guys, so like I shared before, I did not include these bags in my classic. And the primary reason is because I don't feel like the Neil No Way is a part of the classic collection just yet. These bags are, in my opinion, still fairly new. The young lady asked about the No Way, the original No Way, where they came up with the bucket bag concept where they were using that to put champagne bottles and different things in. This one is a newer, modified version to make this appealing and fresh to a younger generation. So while I do love this bag, I don't feel like this one has made it quite yet to the classics. I am starting to see this bag a lot. But I feel like in terms of it being a classic just yet, it is not there. One of the things I will say in comparison to the actual No Way bag, that bag is kind of circular in shape. You do have the centers where you have to cinch it and tie it. That was one of the things that I did not like about that bag. And I'll show you in my Nano version. This one is the best comparison that, that I can give you because I don't have that larger one. But this one is very much so like the larger one okay the larger one is very much so like this except it has that bottom where it's all vaquetta and in this you have to actually pull these drawstrings to tie this bag up now i have seen the little cinchers on etsy where you can buy something to kind of cinch it in and not have to tie it up all the time for me i haven't bought that yet it's about 18 bucks i'll probably go ahead and still get that 
but that was a, a detractor for me on the bag to have to continue to tie that up loosen it up you got to tighten it back up and then tie it up i just didn't want to go through all of that and then as you can see the trim on this is vaquetta you're putting your hand in and out of here you have on dark colored clothes you're rubbing your clothes against that vaquetta it's just going to get dirty and darken over time so that's the reason i did not go for the classic one and i went for the one that i have i felt like it didn't have a lot of vaquetta on it so i would prefer something with as little vaquetta as possible so i don't mind carrying the bag as often that's what attracted me to this i felt like i could keep this clean a lot more and the shape of it i really liked over that round circular shape this kind of reminds me of a never full cinched in so if you have the mm size never full this is very comparable to you having a never full mm bag where you cinch in the sides and it has that look of it being pulled in on the side this is really what that bag will look like so having these bags almost i feel like i have an already cinched in never full mm one of the things i love about this bag and I'll go ahead and attach the strap so I can show you. All right, so I have attached the shoulder strap and you can see that drop. I feel like when I carry this bag as a shoulder bag, it molds to my body a lot better. And so while I really don't care for shoulder bags right now, I usually like crossbody bags or I like them top handle where I can hold them in my hand like this. I got the top handle on this this extra strap because one of the things that I realize is when I carry this like this because this strap is so long it's coming down to like my ankles and it's way 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 too long and so I had to get something shorter where I can still carry it as a top handle I can hold it down to my side and it's not touching down to my ankles like a gym bag or something like that so that was the reason why I got that and I feel like again this one just molds better it's pliable it's squishy but very structured the bottom is very structured and when you put your inserts in it it gives it more structure so i really love that it's pliable you can see that i can fold that really nicely so if you don't carry a lot of items you can really get a nice bag where you can have all your items in one bag and you're not worrying about you know things that don't fit i will say the more you add to this bag it's not heavy like this in general without items in it but of course with this insert and then you add items to it this bag does add on weight as you add items to it so you have to be mindful of what you're carrying as your day-to-day -day items one thing that i will share this bag over the other louis vuitton bags is that this does not have a zipper closure so it does lack a little bit of security if you're not careful where you are carrying this bag to I've never had a problem with worrying about security because typically when I carry this bag, I'm going to a movie with my husband. I'm going probably to the grocery store, but I'll usually put a scarf on top of it or something like that. And I always have it in front of my body or when I'm wearing it on my shoulder, the bag is compressed to where you can't even try to get in the bag. So for me, I'm okay with the with the way that this bag closes right now it works for me but not having a zipper may not work for you if you like tote bags then this will work for you because of course tote bags are open and this one doesn't have any type of you know closure where you can close that off it just cinches close like this all right so in terms of which one I prefer, again, you see what I have in my collection. I just like the Neo No Way better. I like its fresh young look compared to the older model. I like its ability to cinch the bag in a lot better with these right here. And then to be able to pull the bag back open should I need to get into it. So I just prefer the Neo No Way more over the classic No Way. I don't care for all the vaquetta on that bag. And it just to me, it's just not my style. Even though I have the nano version, the smaller cutie one, I think that in a smaller packaging, it looks very cute. But the larger overall size one, no. She did ask about the Noe BB. Now, I, I do think that that bag is very cute. I like that in the Damier Azure color. And I actually was thinking about that bag. But again, the maintenance on that bag and carrying a Damier Azure color on my side. 
and making sure of like what I'm wearing in terms of clothing, color transfer. I didn't want the hassle, so I didn't bother to get that bag. In terms of price, this bag is currently retailing at $20.30 on the market. I think it is very expensive. I paid $15.90 for this one, and then when I got this one, I paid $16.90 for this one so the price has gone up to 2030 which to be honest you guys I don't know compared to the never full I probably would get a never full bag over this if I was going to spend 2030 and get the pouch that comes inside of it that's just my opinion unless you already have a never full and then you just want this pink and monogram color which is what I wanted I definitely wanted to have something in my collection with the pink and monogram so I definitely will not be getting rid of this bag. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. If you have any questions about any of these bags in this video, definitely comment down below. Let me know what do you all think of the Neo No Way bag or the No Way bag if you have any of those bags in your collection. How are you loving those bags? Do you think you want to add one to your collection? What has kept you from adding that bag to your collection? As always, thank you for watching these videos. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. Alrighty, bye.